so Brock's got an interesting topic um, he wants to bring up today, and I, I think he's just going to jump into it. So let's let's hear what it is. So today we're going to talk about why C.J. Stroud was a bust at Ohio State, and I'm going to give you three explicitive reasons to why he was. First reason, he never beat Michigan. Second reason, he didn't win a Big Ten championship. And my third reason is he never won a college football playoff game or a national championship game. Steeman, Steeman take here from the Play Action Podcast. So first we're going to talk about Michigan. You know, he went 0-2 against Michigan. He never beat Michigan in his career. And, you know, at Ohio State, you're judged by that. You're judged by how many times you beat Michigan in your career at Ohio State. Biggest rivalry in college football. Easily. And he went, he went 0 for 2. He, he, did, he didn't beat him there. He didn't beat him at home. So he's, he's already 0 for 2. So he's already, you know, X on that check mark. Second, you know, Big Ten championships. Did he at least win the Big Ten? Well, if you don't beat Michigan, you don't win the Big Ten. You know, that's just kind of how it works. So he went 0 and 2 against Michigan. He went 0 for 2 of getting to the Big Ten championship game and winning it. So, you know, there's X number two on his, on his resume. Well, okay, did he make the college football playoff? He did. He did once. How did he do? He lost. So he's 0-1 in his college football playoff career. So then you're kind of looking at, well, what did he do? Well, he won the Rose Bowl in a game that a lot of Ohio State players didn't play in because they didn't really want to be there. So it's, I guess that's a plus. But I think when you look at C.J. Stroud's career at Ohio State, it's it's going to be it's going to be a failure ultimately. And I think that's pretty surprising considering C.J. Stroud's probably the most talented quarterback to come through Ohio State in the last 20 years, easily since I've been alive. Really? Like, I don't think there's a quarterback that talent-wise lines up to him. Justin Fields? I don't think so. I think he's better than Justin Fields. Well, compare his, his season or his time at Ohio State to Justin Fields' time at Ohio State. Yeah, and you know, you go through that same list that I was kind of going through. You, you know, did Justin Fields beat Michigan? Yeah, he did. He went undefeated against him. He didn't lose. Okay, well, there's already one check. Did Justin Fields win a Big Ten championship? He did. There's another check. Did Justin Fields win a playoff game? He did. He beat Clemson in that that thriller in uh, 2020. Okay, did he win a national championship? No, he unfortunately ran into a really good Alabama team and lost. But if you look at that resume compared to, you know, CJ Stroud's, it's just completely different. Yeah. You know, you have wins over Michigan, you have trophies and you have the national recognition of playing in a national championship game. Yeah. So it's like talent wise, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's comparable. You know, I think CJ Stroud is, is much more talented than Justin Fields and I would say Justin Fields had 10 times the career that uh, just or that CJ Stroud did at Ohio State. Do you think this all falls on the quarterback or do you think that, you know, a lot of it should be, you know, put on that Ohio State defense? Because I mean, Ohio State, they they were putting up they they putting up 40 50 points on almost every team, you know, besides that game against that game against Michigan obviously this year. But I mean, even against the the best team in the country, they hung 41, 42 on, on Georgia this year. So you think it falls on the defense? Yeah, I don't think you can say it fully falls on CJ. But then again, like when you look at the receivers he's had, Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave just both posted a thousand yard receiving years in the NFL. That's the, they were the only duo to do that in the NFL. So you look at that and then you look at, you know, Smith and Jigba is going to be a first round pick. Marvin Harrison might be the best wide receiver prospect we've seen in a while, maybe since Calvin Johnson. So it's like, you look at that and you say, you know, how are you losing games? Why? I just, I more look at it as how did you only put up 20 points against Michigan yeah. at home? Yeah. You know? So and I think you can look at the defense, but I think the defense took a big step up this year than they did last year. I think they're a better unit. And I, I know maybe the points in important games don't show that, but I, I think overall that defense was a better unit than yeah. they were a year ago. And, you know, they still fell short of a lot of their goals. So I just think when you look at CJ Stroud's time at Ohio State, it's going to be surprising and it's going to be really disappointing for a lot of Ohio State fans. Yeah, it's going to be hard for them to to swallow that pill and and to hear that. 
you know, it'll be interesting to see what type of response we get from from Ohio State fans after we drop this one on on the socials. Yeah, and it's like, you know, when you look at Ohio State quarterbacks, you look at what they brought to the table, you know? And if you're like the the JT Barrett, the Cardell Jones kind of era, you brought a national championship. Yeah. You know, if you think of, they also brought wins over Michigan. You know, they had a lengthy streak of wins over Michigan. Same with, you know, Dwayne Haskins, obviously RIP, you know, gone way too soon. Um, you know, he brought, he brought big 10 championships. He brought wins over Michigan. You know, he brought playoff appearances, you know, and then you obviously get into to the Justin Fields kind of era. Same thing. Wins over Michigan, big 10 championships, playoff appearances. And CJ just didn't do that. Yeah. So it's like he had to hope that USC lost in conference championship game to even sneak into the playoff. Yeah. So it's like he needed help to get into the playoff. Yeah. You know, it's not like something he earned on his own. And I think that that really stands out about CJ Stroud and his career at Ohio State. Yeah, definitely a conference championship, you know. And like you said earlier, you know, you, you got to beat Michigan to get into a conference championship. It's just the layout and the nature of the Big Ten and their divisions there. But uh, should we, since we're kind of on that Big Ten topic, should we talk about Jim Harbaugh a little bit? I think we should. Yeah. And this is going to be, after everything I just said about CJ, this can be even more interesting. I think Jim Harbaugh or John Harbaugh. Jim. Is it Jim or is it Yeah, John? it's Jim. Okay. I think Jim Harbaugh, I think he should leave to the, to the NFL. I don't think he should stay at Michigan because he obviously wants an NFL job and his stock has never been higher yeah. in my opinion. You know, I think during his years when he was losing to, to Ohio state, people were down on him. You know, yeah. people were questioning if he could even coach anymore. Well, yeah, these Iowa. days it's like you he, he can't beat Ohio State. They they wanted him out. They thought he should be fired. He was on the hot seat. Couldn't beat Ohio State. Couldn't win the conference. Couldn't get into the playoff. Those are, you know, things you got to do at Michigan. So he's coming off of, you know, two straight wins over Ohio State, two straight conference championships, two straight playoff appearances. Did they end the way he wanted them to? No. Obviously, he wanted to win those games and get to a national championship. But I don't think there's any – Thing more that he could achieve besides maybe a national championship, which I don't even know is attainable in the current landscape of, of college football with Georgia, the way that they're playing, Alabama is only going to get better. Eventually Ohio state's going to figure it out and be able to, to you know, beat Michigan. I, I just, I don't think it makes sense for him to stay at Michigan. I think he needs to, to, you know, say, you know, I brought you wins over Ohio state. I brought you big 10 championships. I brought you playoff appearances. I'm off to the NFL now. And I think, I think he couldn't leave faster. That's rough. I, I think that, you know, Michigan, obviously they want to beat Ohio State every year, but their goal is to win a national championship. Exactly. And I, I'm sure that Jim Harbaugh wants to win a national championship. I, I think that, you know, he had a great season this year, beat Ohio State, you know, won the conference championship. But I, I don't think he's satisfied, you know. He's there to win a national championship. And I don't think he leaves. Why would he leave? You know, he's still got to prove that. And, you know... Since he's on this high with beating his rival back to back years, I, I just don't see him leaving. I think it depends on what his goals are. You know, and if he wants to be an NFL coach again, I think he's got to go. I think he's got to go right now because I think beating Ohio State once was a shock to a lot of people. I think doing it again was an even bigger shock. I don't think I could pick Michigan to beat him three years in a row. And I know Blake Corum just announced he's coming back. So he's going to have that duo of, of J.J. McCarthy and, and Blake Corum back. But it's like beating Ohio State three times in a row and then eventually getting to the playoff, I think this was their best opportunity this year. You know, I know the talent they have coming back, and I think they're going to be a, a really good team again next year. But it's like, can you beat Georgia? Can you beat Alabama? You couldn't beat TCU, and you couldn't beat Georgia last year. Can you get over that hump of the semifinals to get to a national championship and then win the national championship? I think it's a different story if we're talking about Jim Harbaugh losing to Georgia in the national championship game this year. Yeah. But it's like, he's still got two steps to go. Yeah. To be where, you know, Michigan ultimately wants him to be. And with Georgia and, you know, playing the way they are right now and Alabama is surely going to be back. I just don't know if he can do it. 
You don't think he wants to take on that challenge? You think he just looks at that and he's like, oh man, you know, Georgia is on the rise. Bam has been great. And I can't even beat TCU, you know? So I'm, I'm just going to dip up, dip up out of here and head to the NFL. I think he would like the challenge, but I think it ultimately comes down to, you know, right now he's going to have his pick of jobs in the NFL. You know, I know the Broncos already want him. And, you know, there's a ton of teams that have openings, you know, Cardinals, Texans. He's going to have his pick of jobs. All of those teams are going to call. Yeah. You know, they're going to gauge his interest. Say he stays another year, maybe loses to Ohio State, doesn't make the Big Ten Championship, doesn't make the playoff. Is that stock still as high? Maybe, maybe not. I just don't think he should risk it. If yeah. he has interest coaching in the NFL again, I think he's got to go. I think he's got to yeah. go now. I think the timing is right right now if if that's something he wants to do, but I don't think it's necessarily something he wants to do. And I'm so hit or miss. You know, it's it's he flirted with it last year. He took a bunch of interviews in the NFL with a lot of different teams. He's He's already scheduled an interview with the Broncos already. So it's, if he didn't have interest in doing that, I just don't think he takes the interviews. Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt to go in there and just listen to, to what they have to say or, or offers. I mean, it, it, it definitely shows some interest, but it's just like, you know, popping in and being like, okay, what, what, what do they got for me? Well, I guess I look at it also as what does that say to your team? You know, it's like, if I'm a recruit and I'm considering Michigan, how... What are the chances I go to Michigan knowing that my coach might want to coach in the NFL? Yeah, it's on the so, fence. So it's like, I think he needs to commit one way or the other. And I think if he commits fully to Michigan and says, this is where I want to be, I don't want to be in the NFL, I think he could start getting better recruits to compete with Georgia and Alabama. Yeah. But it's like, he's so on the fence every year, or at least the last two years, that it just makes me wonder that I think he wants the NFL. I just think he's waiting for the right time. That's true. I, mean, I we don't see Kirby Smart and and uh, Saban going out there and and you know talking to NFL teams. Even a one that I think would flirt with the NFL if he wanted it is Lincoln Riley. Yeah, you know it's like if he wanted the NFL, he could get a job. You know he could get an NFL job pretty easily. But it's like I just haven't heard. It's going to be interesting now that the Cardinals' job is open because they took a once Oklahoma coach and Clint Cliff Kingsbury. It's going to be interesting now, you know, if he takes that job, but we just don't hear it with, you know, a lot of the, what I've quote unquote top NFL coaches or yeah. NCAA coaches. So, for yeah. For Lincoln Riley, they're paying him. They're paying him. Yeah. Oh yeah. So for him, it's like, I don't, I don't understand why you leave. Yeah. But you know, recruiting is stressful. You know, it is much harder than roster management in the NFL. So it's like, I think it comes down to what, you know, Harbaugh wants, you know, does he want, to do the whole recruiting grind, you know, then go through a season where you have straight up expectations that don't change every year? Or do you want to go to the NFL where you could take on a project, build your own roster, and then your expectations are set from there? Yeah. So, it'll be, yeah, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what he does in these, in these probably next coming weeks or months. Yeah. So if, if I was Coach Harbaugh, you've achieved more than Michigan has in the last decade. I think it's I think it's time to go. Your stock is the highest it's going to ever be right now. I think you go, you're going to have your pick of NFL jobs and then you take the one that that fits you the best. Yeah.